Hey guys, welcome to tartsstore.com. I am Ripon Dotto. Today I am going to show you how to create a simple class in C Sharp. So, first of all, class. A class is the fundamental building block of an object. A class describes the abstract characteristics and behavior of an object. This is a simple class where rectangle is a class name. This is class keyword and this is this public is a access specifier and these two variables are data member on data variables and there is a method a is a method so what is access specifier access specifiers defines the scope of a class or class members a class member can be a variable or a method in c sharp there are five different types of access specifiers such as public private protected internal and protected internal i will be discussed this um access specifiers in a another lesson this is a simple program where the box is a class and three member variables and two methods okay now i'm going to show you how to create a class in visual studio 2010 okay so file new project using console application press ok now let's create a rectangle class so right click on the project add a class give the class name rectangle okay so public double height public double width public double area it will return height and width multiplies that's it this is a symbol rectangle class which has two data member and the method now so rectangle new rectangle so rectangle height equal to rectangle width equal 3 so console right rectangle area Control F5 6 3 into 2 that means 6 we can even add a constructor rectangle double W so height equal is with equal w so in this case we can make these variables private we will be discussed later about this now we can implement these variables 2 comma 3 that means this is a constructor so we are getting an error because our constructor has no access specifier that means this is by default this access specifier should be private 
so I need to use as public all right now we can get the same result six so this is the way how can you create a class and use this object if you like this tutorial please do a positive comment in the comment box and thank you very much for watching this tutorial see you soon in the next tutorial